Hi and welcome to Pumpkin's Nail Station. Today I am starting a quick and easy nail art with She Modern playlist. So they're literally just going to be quick and easy nail art designs. Today I'm going to try and attempt this one which is the marble, the marble design using the magic binding powder. I will also be using the per white pearl essence shimmer pigment and the silver pearl essence shimmer pigment and I might add a little bit of a gold hollow detail. We'll also be using the free complimentary water bottle that comes free with any magic powder. So basically, essentially it's a bottle like this which comes like that and you get a free nozzle what you put on it like that so you can squirt your water and dispense it nicely generally when you buy a packet of pigments from she modern you would choose three products so for example for this one you might want to choose the magic powder the white pearl shimmer and the silver pearl shimmer because you can use any glitter you would get two stencils two canvases and some water decal surprises free of charge in every order you get something like that so unless you buy a decal then you'll just get one so one um, canvas one de one surprise and one canvas in with your decals so that's the products out of the way what we're going to be using so now we're just going to get down to the art stuff Right, so now we're just going to get down to the quick and easy design. What I've done is I've dispensed some of the powders. So you would turn your bottle anti-clockwise like that. And to dispense them, you would shake them up just to make sure the powder's a bit loose. And you would just tap it like that to get your powder out. I would use a 50-50 ratio roughly of powder to a product like that. And I would just put a tiny drop of water in the center like that I've prepped the nail so I've put a white gel polish just use a white cheap one for practicing and then I've put a matte top coat on the top because that's what the polish is going to adhere to it needs a more of a matte surface than a shiny surface then what I would do is I would just get a little buffer buffing block and just buff the surface of your natural of the nail that you're doing it on slightly like that just to give it a bit of a more of a grit, gritty surface so we'll put the nail tip like that then you just get a paintbrush any paintbrush that you can use to mix i'm just using this one let me just check this is in there then you would get your paint like so and we're going to mix the white one up first, the white pearl shimmer. Doesn't take a lot of water at all, as you can see, it's literally just dabbing your brush in and it's all mixed up. To apply the white polish as the base, I'm going to use a make a cosmetic uh, ombre sponge. So I'm just going to dip it into the paint like so and pick up most of the paint and put it onto the ombre sponge like so. And then we're just going to dab it on like that a little does go a long way I reckon this would easily cover a couple of nails I've chosen the white because I think it looks nice and this pearlescent shimmer gives it a nice kind of texture like that so then what we would do is we would just let that dry under a blowing fan and then I'll come back Okay, so that literally took about two seconds under a blowing fan. I just didn't really want you sitting around and watching nothing. <laughs> so now we're going to go on to the grey paint. So you just dip your brush in there again. You can clean the brush if you want to. I've got like a... Where is it? I've got like a brush cleaning bottle. It is a bit, a bit skanky because I've used it quite a few times. And then you would just clean your brush like so and just wipe it on a lint-free wipe like that so it just gets off any especially if you're using a more like a black or something like that you're going to want to clean your brush out 
So now we're just mixing in the silver. I like to just dab my brush in to make sure there's no lumps or bumps in the paint. You saw how little water that took. Oops, it literally took nothing. I just wet the brush and that was it. Now I'm going to get a liner brush. So we can just get off this paint that's on the on here onto the liner brush. So we just dab that on to the liner brush like that. I would get a little bit more, load the brush up quite a bit. Let me just make sure I'm in focus. Oh. <laughs> right, so we're back. I've just mixed up the grey paint um, I realised that the camera wasn't in focus so I've had to just um, refilm it so rather than waste the paint I just mixed up the grey in exactly the same way and now I'm just going to put a couple of lines on here go back into the paint a little bit maybe do a little line like that And so we've got our three lines like that and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my brush into my water, my cleaning water. This is clean water by the way, it's not dirty. Just wipe off the paint like that and just get, get your wet brush and just go in to the grey and kind of fuzz it up a little bit like that keep going back in take off most of the excess and just kind of fuzz up the lines a bit like so and just kind of fuzz them up a little bit like that if you need a bit more paint just go back in and just fuzz it up I'm no expert at doing these marble designs and I actually like the way this came out. I just sort of wiggle the paint around a bit, get myself a bit more water and just wiggle it around a bit like so. So now you can see that the marble effect is taking place. It's looking really nice. I think it looks nice anyway. I don't know what you guys think, but I think it looks lovely. So now I'm just going to let this dry and then I'll add the grey, the gold glitter just for a little bit of sparkle. Right, so we're back. That took about two seconds to dry in a blowing fan. I think it's starting to look nice and like a marble design. So what we're going to do next is just mix up this gold paint. So I'll just focus you back in onto the table. So if you just bear with me, we'll mix up the gold paint. So we just clean out our brush, make this a good habit because this is a darker colour that's on this brush and just wipe off any excess onto a lint free wipe. Like so, so you've got a clean brush. If you need more water, just put a drop into the centre of your dish and then you just mix right so we're back now and we've mixed up the gold paint just to save a bit of time again it's just literally a dab of water and you just mix it up like that and now we're just going to add a little bit of gold just for something special to the design so let's make sure that you can see the application. Make sure I'm focused in. And I would just, you know, just add a little bit. Just a little bit, just along the marble effect. Just, just to give it that little bit of extra bling. So yeah, so I think that's starting to look nice. Would you wear this? What do you think? So now we're just going to let this dry and then we'll top coat. And now we're just going to finish with an Eye Lee 
no wipe gel top coat because this top coat is really nice I do recommend it I'll leave the links in the description box below so now we're just going to pop this on over the top of the design and this is where it really really comes to life I do love this magic powder I think it could be used as an alternative to polish you know especially if you're more of a natural naturals person and you're not really into using any toxins or chemicals or anything like that these magic powder paint pigments they can be used as you know equally as good as a polish when applied with these sponges you know because I've been testing them out so let's have a look at the finished nail and what do we think I think it's look, it looks really nice I'm just going to cure this in the lamp while we're saying our end parts to the film so yeah just a quick reminder of what we've used we have used the she modern white pearl white pearl shimmer pigment we've used the gold hollow we've used the magic powder dry color dry color binding powder and we've used the silver pearl shimmer pigment we've also used a sponge a white gel polish and a matte top coat and then to finish it off we've used a Nime Lee top coat just there so that's everything that we have used to do this quick and easy nail art design it has taken a couple of minutes to literally finish this design but I think it looks really nice any level could do this I'm a complete beginner and I struggled to get this marble look but with these paints and things like that I've managed to do it this is another one that I've done when I was practicing just it on its own and it's really really stunning I really love this design so if you would wear it give it a big thumbs up this is a she modern glow in the dark polish glow in the dark pigment what I've got on also with a note with an I may Lee top and base coat with these they have been on for seven days I would say and they're born pretty holographic sequins these products by she modern they are gorgeous so yeah I would definitely check these out I'll put the links in the description box to everything that I have used and yeah have a great day bye